Hi, Johnny. Good to see you. Hi. Um, can I ask how you are health-wise, fitness-wise, and and where you are at this stage? Uh, a couple of days out from a match against Italy. Yeah, good to go. Um, available for selection. Obviously, was very disappointed to to miss out on the French game. Um, it was a game that I really wanted to to play in, but um, just didn't quite get there. Just didn't hit the hit the return to play protocol markers. Uh, failed. Um, so. Had to wait a little bit longer and back trained fully last week and, and fully this week, so um, good to go. That's good to hear. And Thanks. can I just um, ask you about some some remarks that, that Mike Cat and Andy Farrell have made about better communication um, on the pitch and better decision making? You know, they, they want that from the players. I mean, how as players do you achieve that? It's by working hard, isn't it? By by listening, by, by learning from your mistakes. Um, you know, we, there, it's been a mixture of things. In my opinion, we, we've we've created a lot of times. We haven't taken some of them. Um, I think at times we're missing opportunities to to, to put the ball into the space. Um, very early on in the in the French game, there's a few ch a few chances that we we needed to shift the ball, and, and then there's other times where we shifted it well into space, and then the space closed up, and we should have put it in behind. So there's there's lots of there's lots of examples that we've gone through as a team and you know with individuals and small groups and and said that you know it wasn't good enough for international standard and uh, despite all those things we still came within you know a penalty away from from you know winning the game uh, and there was a few penalties in that last phase of play that 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 we could have got in terms of offsides and stuff like that so um you know that that that's the frustrating thing but you know the thing that we can control is is being better at seeing the space and then when we do create the opportunities that we that we we make the most of them and, and we're clinical and it'll be the same against Italy that's you know the coaches have come in they've done a fantastic job it's very different to, to what it was before um but we will be better for this going forward um of that I'm of that I'm convinced you know for talk about world cup cycles I might not be a part of the full cycle, but um, this group will, will definitely be better for this type of um, coaching and, and structures. Thank you. Have a good week. Thanks. Johnny, um, many people might have seen uh, this Italy game as one to, for the coaches to give uh, more experience to other players and all the rest. But for you now, with the position that you're in, obviously a win is always very important, but to get that win and get some confidence in the team, that was most important. Um, yeah, like it depends what way you look at confidence. Like we, we, I don't think we've lost our confidence as a group. You know, starting the campaign is definitely a million miles off what we wanted. We wanted two wins from two. Obviously, going down to fourteen early against Wales is one thing, but like we took a lot of confidence from that game in terms of what we did with fourteen men and some of the chances we created. And again, it comes back to that, like. The hard part in international rugby is creating the chances, you know what I mean? Um, and we, we've done plenty of that. We now need to go and take the next step and, and finish them off and see see the, the opportunities better. And uh, I don't think this group has lost confidence. It certainly didn't feel like that training today. I think we're all looking forward to trying to finish this campaign on a high. Um, you know, a lot can happen. I don't think mathematically it's over. Maybe it is. We haven't even focused on that. We just want to... We want to win the next game in front of us and then like I said uh, target the one after that and finish finish on a high and, and then you know that'll that'll give us some good feelings going into into the next uh, round of fixtures Hi Johnny um, just Sorry, when you mentioned about the World Cup cycle, and I remember you did a Mesa ad recently where you were talking about keeping an eye on the future. Have you considered, like not in the near future, but when you do hang up your boots, have you considered whether you would stay, would you would you coach, would you go into punditry or step away altogether? Uh, none of the above. Uh, I, I, no, I, I have a fair idea what I'll, what I'll be doing. Um, yeah, I, I, you never tell anyone your plans because they can change, can't they? Um, but uh, now I've got some some things that I'll work towards over the next, whether it's a year or two years, I don't know. Like um, I'll, I'll work towards getting into the real world and, and starting a, a, another life. I think uh, there's some parts of this game that like 
are amazing that you love and and you'd, you'd love to be a part of it forever but then there's some parts that you just can't wait to get a million miles away from it uh so uh i love it at the moment i'm loving every moment of playing and i just want to focus on this campaign and then if i stay on next year just focus on on that and, and try and make the most of, of whatever's left thanks and just when you're talking about the emphasis on communication do you see quiet guys in the team and is it something that you can help somebody with or is, is that just in their nature that maybe some guys are louder than others or how do you encourage guys to, to talk more if it's not in their nature yeah it's a, it's a very good question i think it's it's something that uh we work a lot on you know i think in leinster especially we have a very very quiet group um just by nature they're amazing players um all of them you know uh, the guys outside me uh, like world class at a lot of the a lot of the basics and, and brilliant at their jobs and the next level for for them is to try and improve that little bit of of communication and um, and just staying in the moment for longer you know what I mean just not drifting uh, when the ball's away from them and, and staying and you look at the best teams in the world over the last few years and uh, New Zealand obviously leading the way um, and how much they're outside backs especially can feed in you know we had Graham Henry in with Leinster and he ex he told us through with, with Wayne Smith and, and the coaches there about how they they cue in action so they, they the guys in the outside channels were responsible for you know seeing the space and then cueing and calling the right call to get the ball to that space so it's a it's a team thing and and um, it's something that we're massively working on it hasn't probably come to fruition uh for 80 minutes we've done it at times um but again international rugby is about doing it you know you know for 80 minutes really and, and i think that's the next step for us thanks johnny johnny there's been a lot of talk about whether ireland should be mixing it up uh, in terms of selection for this week uh, but how can consistency maybe help at a time when things haven't been going your way uh yeah again look as as a player you don't worry about selection Oh, well you do worry about selection you worry about getting yourself picked you don't really think about you know i wonder if you'll if you rotate or if you'll try someone else now we're like we're very focused on like i said trying to get some you know better performances out there cohesion and um, the better performances will hopefully lead to better results and, and that's all we're, we're focused on and um, maybe andy will change a few players I don't know there was a, there was a couple of changes we were changing in and out a lot today so um selection very still up for grabs um no team's been announced in this environment yet and uh, it really adds to training because guys are competing with each other and guys are are fighting for places so it's a it's a it was a good day today um, and a good start to the week we had a good day yesterday and a big day tomorrow or a big training day tomorrow uh, the team will be announced and and then it'll be you know, over to Rome and, and hopefully a good performance and a, and, a, and a good result. Johnny, just on the more immediate future, is there any update on your contract situation? I, I, I accept it's a private thing, but have you got it sorted? Um, nearly, yeah, nearly, 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 but uh, waiting on, waiting on, uh, I'm nearly there, yeah, waiting on Leinster to see if Leinster want to keep me or not. They've got a few good young tens coming through, so. Uh, um, I appreciate that. Um, you mentioned there that, like, you know, you might not be part of this full World Cup cycle. You kind of maybe hinted at things like that over the last few few weeks. Like, has there been a shift in in your mindset a little bit? I mean, I don't know if you become more realistic. I don't know what the right word is, but has there been a change from your end? No, it, like if you look at what what I said already, like it's been other people that have. That have sort of thrown fuel on the fire. Isa, Isa telling people that I could play till I was 40, 41. Like I'm, I've always been in the same position. Like I absolutely love what I do. I'm very privileged to do it, and I'm still loving it. And I, I keep playing for now. Like you know what I mean. But it that has never changed. Like you know what I mean. Like I, I I've spoken about admiration for athletes that have, that have stayed at the top of their game for for a long time. Like but never like I don't I don't you just gotta be careful what what's what I said or what someone else said I can get lost a bit but uh, for the moment I'm still motivated I hope that my teammates and coaches see how motivated I am to, to train well every day and and then to, to keep going 
Um, and whenever that is, like, yeah, I can't say I'm going to play for, because no one knows. You can be 24, 25 years of age and get an injury and you're finished, like, ne then, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, yeah, at the moment I'm, I'm contracted for this season and uh, nearly contracted for next season. Uh, hopefully uh, stay and we'll, we'll see what happens. House of Rugby Ireland, here on Joe. Game changed.